Now, when it comes to testosterone boosting supplements, this is mostly what I've got to say. Like there are a few more slides after this. I'm not just going to completely write off testosterone boosting supplements with a cartoon of a dude going lol, 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 lol. We are going to go into why they, they don't really work and, and how. Um, but I also just really like this slide, so we're going we're gonna to stick with it for a bit. Okay, we're done. Um, there is a relationship between testosterone levels and healthy body composition. There was a study in 2016 that analyzed a lot of people and their testosterone levels, and there was a relationship, but that's a correlation. That does not imply causation. That does not mean that somebody increases their testosterone levels, therefore they have a healthier body composition. It could simply be that becoming more trained, i.e. going to the gym, uh, going to the gym regularly, going to the gym regularly for a number of years and increasing your, you know, just improving your body composition also therefore increases your testosterone levels. It could be the other way around. And there is um, some data showing that, um, you know, that this may well be the case. Most testosterone boosters that are on the market, they don't actually boost your testosterone. A lot of them just make you feel kind of horny which makes you then go, oh, I must therefore have increased testosterone because I feel slightly different. And we know that testosterone is linked to things like sex drive and, and all the rest of that. There's no indication that if they did increase testosterone that they'll actually do anything. We'll go on to a couple of studies in just a second that point to just how futile that, that might actually be. Our general recommendation on, t on testosterone boosters is just don't waste your money probably don't do anything and they're usually pretty damn expensive. Examine.com has a great quote on testosterone boosters that says if you want to boost your testosterone be around attractive women and display power and maybe have a lot of sex. Just don't make those women sad or they will sap your testosterone. Um, crying females tends to reduce testosterone levels in males. Um, red, the color red also helps um, and none of what was just said was, is miraculously effective for, for muscle growth. So when it comes to putting testosterone boosting supplements into context, diaspartic acid, you may have heard of this as a, as a supplement to boost your testosterone levels, boosted testosterone by 42% within 12 days of starting supplementation. Great, awesome, 42% is, is more than 0%, therefore we're getting an increase, right? Now, if blokes um, abstain from ejaculation, shall we say, for a week, I know, I know, that boosts testosterone levels by more than diaspartic acid will. So staying out of the bedroom for a week does more than this supplement that costs you money. For people who are actually taking steroids, a dose of 600 milligrams of testosterone enanthate will boost testosterone to 600% of its baseline levels. That makes that 42% seem a little ridiculous in comparison.